first time they actually hooked up, she had just got back from Rarotonga. Oh, they both went over there for a sevens tournament and then they came back and she was like, oh, I want to go out. Uh, there's this real hot guy. His name's Johnny. And we're like, oh, yeah. And we kind of nicknamed him John John Phenomenon. I just remember seeing this dude leaning up against the wall of our back. And I honestly thought he was just the most handsomest thing I've ever seen. Like, he was stunning. <laughs> and he, when I think back now, he was like long, scruffy hair. looked like, probably if I looked at him now, I'd be like, oh, hell. Like, yeah, I think he had like food stains down his top. And he was a mess. But he was a mess that I just absolutely loved. <laughs> the first time I actually met her, was through one of my groomsmen. I think he was trying to sweet talk her. But uh, she wasn't interested. She she obviously saw a more handsome guy than me. Uh, <laughs> um, and then, that was the first time I met her. When they first started being together, um, till now, you know, that they, they were kind of like a, a wonderful couple. Um, that, I suppose we all aspire to be like um, our best friends. Um, they have a wonderful, fun relationship. Johnny first tried to propose to Liz um, at, by taking her out on a date for the anniversary. She was really busy with um, training, um, and it was a bit late by the time they got home, so we booked a dinner for the next night. So they went out the next night and he was going to propose that night except she got real shitty because he thought that <laughs> she thought he'd forget, forgotten their anniversary on the first night the night before so that didn't happen because they had a massive fight <laughs> when johnny did propose um it was the day that les was supposed to go to the races with all her girlfriends i proposed to her on her mona on her mountain i just told her to um so i told one person because the kitchens are really bad at keeping a secret, really bad. So <clears throat> it was it was beautiful. It was the most stunning way that I think anyone, you know, like he 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 doesn't do a lot of romantic stuff in, in terms of big things. Johnny lives by romancing me every day with small things. I think men is uh, yeah we were perfect for each other. We we complement each other. We got so much things in common, but also. A lot of things that, you know, like I said, complement each other, that are different. Hello my baby, how are you doing? I really miss you. I can't wait to be in your arms tonight. Girl, your body is my serenity. Liz, you have been my best friend and yeah, my true love for the last two years. I promise to honour you, protect you, and always be there. Just every step for our life. Um, you are a beautiful woman. You are a great role model for our nieces, our nephews, and our future children. And I hope they have your determination your drive, your beauty, and I hope they have my hair. <laughs> Johnny, for the first time in our 10 years I've, I've been lost for words. Not because I don't know what to say, but purely because it's hard to congest my love for you into a few simple sentences. When I think of you, I think of calm. Someone who lights up the party. A man who values loyalty and love deeply. I'm lucky to have found a man that shares my love for family, my pride of culture, and my passion for everything. I will always stand by you. I will talk your ears off as you're going to sleep, and I'll pinch your ass It is my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your girl.
to be the MC uh, this afternoon on a special day to celebrate Mr. and Mrs. Elder. Uh, my name is Mr. Graham and um, yeah, I have the privilege of, of being MC and, and hoping that everything runs uh, smoothly. Uh, my objective, my goal is to keep it uh, short and sweet like my fiance Holly Great. Um, so that, that's, that's the plan for now. But we'll talk a, a bit more about that later on. I can smell beautiful kai. And before I get on to the kai, I just want to thank all the ringawera who have done an outstanding job. Let's just put our hands together for all the hard work behind the scenes. Kia ora whanau. Go! 